What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about the HPI Borza. So this thing's going to be on a pre-order. So let's jump right to it here. I'll put links down in the description below. As far as an ETA, when this thing's going to be coming out, I'm not 100% sure. It could be August, it could be sooner, but I want to let you guys know in regards. So there's, a three, there's three different models, but two are brushless and one is going to be your Nitro. Um, coming in with the price points, they are definitely higher than what I would like to see. You guys can let me know in regards to that price point as well. Also, even let HPI know as far as prices seems to be a little too high for a 1.8 scale 6S power or the Nitro in general. So uh, there's an S model, which is in green. You don't get a choice of colors with these. So you get an orange. There's no other like red body or nothing like that. So the colors you see is what you get in that particular model. So, all right, let's just jump right to this. This is going to, I'm going to call it the base model, this red one here. So the Vorza Truggy Flux, so it is brushless. It's ready to run. You're going to still need, you can run two 2S LiPo batteries or two 3S LiPo batteries. It is 1.8 scale. It's four-wheel drive. It's brushless ESC. It's got 150 amp ESC in it. And also as far as a 2200 kV motor. The downside is... Um, well, you get plastic shocks with this thing here too. You're paying seven hundred and nine dollars for it. You're getting plastic body shocks, whatever. Um, and if you want to, if you don't like those, and you're like, well, you gotta spend even more money because that other that S model actually has the aluminum shocks and has a different front and rear shock tower that's still made of aluminum, but it's seven seventy five. Not sure what metal aluminum this is. But then it has some other little braces as far as linkages that are aluminum as well. Like down here, those are going to, I think they are aluminum or so. Anyway, um, yeah, it's got a 8 kilogram servo. Yeah, 8 kilogram. Pretty weak when it comes to a servo, especially in a 1.8 scale 6S power nonetheless. So it's got a, it does have a aluminum as far as heat sink on the motor, which is good. I'm not sure how that motor is mounted exactly. I see like these two parts here holding it down. I'm not sure if that's it, if there's adjustability, if it's on the bottom of the chassis, you guys can let me know. I don't see any other points on it, but um, it looks like even this fan might be able to mount a little, or I'm sorry, not fan, but a heat sink, boom, heat sink. Um, see if that thing actually has a spot where you could put a fan on it. That'd be kind of good if it would have already come with it. Price point, uh, it's got Dean connections. And I'm on the fence with the Dean connections. I mean, I've had 6S systems and they've had Dean connections and I've had, didn't have a problem, but I have moved from like XT60s to 90s, what, whatever, just to make sure, you know, less resistance. So that's that on that one. It does have sway bars. It's got adjustable linkages as far as your tie rods go, all that good fun stuff, which I'm not knocking the vehicle at all. I'm just knocking it when it comes to more or less the price point and also that servo now jumping back over um like i said i'll put links down in the description you guys can kind of read up on all of it but i'm just kind of touching base now the s model so we're going from it's brushless still another brushless the green one and the s well that is going to show you it's 819 dollars yeah so maybe you saw you saw the plastic body shocks these have aluminum ones and you can tell the difference as far as in that brace and even hear that little brace. All right, so yeah, so you get a few bits and pieces of aluminum or upgraded aluminum, depending on what part you're looking at as far as the shocks go or the towers. So yeah, there's where your money's going as far as just those little components right there for the $800. Not like the motor's not more powerful, the ESC's not any more powerful. The only thing that's more powerful is the servo. Comes in at 10 kilograms. It's almost a joke. I'm not sure it, unless there's some kind of magic that's happening here that this thing just does the job just fine on eight kilograms. I'm sorry, 10 kilograms. You guys can let me know in regards to that one. I feel like, you know, most time you at least get 15 kilograms. I mean, I've gotten bread cat stuff that's got 15 kilograms and it's not even a fraction of this cost. So leave your comments down below. Let I really would like you guys to head over to HPI's either Facebook, their YouTube channel, and let them know like, hey, these prices are crazy. All right, you're not even in the ballpark of a lot of other vehicles. There's Armas, there's Team Corrales. 
that are 500, 550. They're right in that price point. These things are way out of their price range. So let them know. Uh, they do have the Nitro one also. I would like to see these prices drop. So that's what we're trying to do. See if we can get these prices lowered down, especially in this economy. But nonetheless, even if it wasn't economy doing as not so great as of right now, I would still like to see these prices. If it was even a better economy, the price is too high when you compare it to everything else that's out there. So that and your big contenders. So yeah, I mean, I like the stance of it. It looks good. Like it's a good looking vehicle. My main thing, again, is just that price. So that is that. So um, this one here, when it comes to, well, you can see it, it comes with plastic shocks. Plastic shocks, I think it's a 6.5 kilogram plastic geared servo on just the throttle. And then you get, well, then you got an eight kilogram on your steering. So that is what's up on that part of it. Yeah, pull start, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, um, well, not too crazy about it. It says this will do 45 miles an hour. So you Nitro fans out there, 45 miles an hour. The other one said it's does like 64 with the brushless one. Big jump in uh, speed there between the two. So um, yeah, that's that. Um, like I guess I'll put links down in the description below. Let's put a link right to all the pre-order items here. I did kind of mention it. Um, just since I'm kind of wrapping this video up right now, um, I did do a video, let's say yesterday, as far as for the SCA dash one E, it's a team. It's a sorry, not Team Crowley, uh, Charisma. So it's a crawler. Um, you got some other vehicles here, as far as like the Kyoshas, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, definitely check it out. It's just a link at the top of our website called pre-orders. But loads of different stuff as far as that you can choose from here, payment options and all that good fun stuff, like using Klarna. But yeah, I want to let you guys know. Also, one last thing before I let you guys go. If you're sticking around, it would be the Kyosho Mustang. It's a drift Mustang. It just came in. So those are getting shipped out to anybody that did order one. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. We'll catch you real soon. Thank you for watching. Peace.